Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in this video, I am going to be opening two bags of jewelry that I got at the garage sale the other day. I remember I got these two bags and the bag of beads for five bucks each. The bag of beads is sold, but I do have a video coming out because Autumn Grace, who bought that bag at the auction, um, said I could open it and like videotape it and do all that. So I'll have that coming out pretty soon. Um, fair warning, there's a lot of clinky clinky beads and stuff going on in that video. So if you're into like sounds and clickies and things like that, then you'll love it. And if you don't, just mute it. <laughs> okay, so first bag is this one, five bucks. Second bag is this one. This is the garage that I bought a bunch of stuff at. And so um, I was just kind of like making a pile. So, I mean, there are some things that's like, oh, I see shell beads and oh, I see Mardi Gras beads in there, but I see other stuff too. And I'm just going to say that Autumn Grace got a good deal when I unbagged that um, bag of beads because there was some really awesome stuff, some rings and a bracelet in there that was really cute. But hey, you win some, you lose some, or you win some and you win some. I don't know. Good morning, Patricia. Hi, Picky Chicken Susan. Hi, Cindy. Good morning. Thanks for coming to hang out. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, Shauna. So I have this bag, and what I'm going to do is I'll take them out, and I have a, like a tub. How should I do this? Put, it, put the tub in my lap. I'll put the tub to the side. How am I going to do this? Hey, Jeff. How's it going? How are you feeling this morning? Let's just dive in. How about that? Ooh, this looks like fun. Oh, except for it's tangled. My favorite thing in the world. Tangles. Yay. <laughs> okay, I lied. This is going to the side. Okay. Cause I want to zoom in. Oh, thanks, Jan. This is my the morning after I curled my hair yesterday and was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it again today. <laughs> Thank you though. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is a cool watch. This is it says Star Wars and it's a New Hope. That's awesome. I I don't think it's a really vintage one. Let me open it. Let me open her up and see what we've got. Okay, this is cool. So there we've got, what's that? What's that? Okay, uh, I don't know. Somebody's eyeball. There's Luke, okay, we get that. There is a stormtrooper on the back and then there's some, oh look, it's the Death Star on the back. That's really cool. I don't know the story with this watch, but I'm gonna find out because it's awesome. Okay, you are gonna go over there. Win for five bucks already. Next, we've got this clunky bracelet. And this is one, I'm going to try to tell you where I'm going to put things because I've been sorting. I'm such a good girl lately. I'm sorting things into um, uh, tubs over there where it's like craft lot, mystery bags, auction, or I'm going to list it. I think I have a couple other tubs. So this will probably be one that goes into like a jewelry lot. Like I'm going to do like a jewelry lot that you can see, if you know what I mean. Okay, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm working on organizing a little better. All right, next we have this pink string necklace that it doesn't have a, a pendant on it. Looks like shoestrings, but hey, it's in good shape. So I don't know. It'll probably go into a lot, but unless I find something cool to put on it, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, hey in the chat. Okay, here we've got a broken watch, which will probably, I have like a basket full of watches and watch parts and things. Um, so that'll go with that stuff until we figure out watches someday, <laughs> which I'm determined to do. Then we've got this. Those look like malachite beads. Yeah, I think they are. Those green ones that are kind of stripy, I think those are malachites beads i'm almost sure i'm almost certain on that but they're on this wire so they're probably for crafting or something like that like there okay <laughs> i don't mind it it's just time consuming and i'd much rather be doing this and like showing you guys stuff okay then we've got one of these bracelets it's actually in really good shape i usually don't like finding these because they're always like sweaty and gross um, I, I, if I'm not sure about the stone, I would, I would personally take it to get it checked out 
Cassie was asking in the chat, how do you test stones to fully determine their value? Um, and, or I just disclose, you know, that I'm not 100% like that. I'm pretty sure of what it is. But like if it was a, you know, an emerald or a garnet, well, garnets are um, emerald or something that's a higher end that they might be lab created, then I might say, or I might get it looked at by a professional. I don't have one of those tester things. I would love to have one. That would be awesome. I'm showing you this a lot. Okay, moving on. <laughs> yeah, I have a ton. Oh, awesome, Emily. She says, I bought a ring from Goodwill and found two that were 18K. That's sweet. All right, we've got another watch that will end up, you know, in the watch bin just because, you know, we've got a little wooden Easter thing. This will go into a craft lot right here. Um, yeah, it's tons. And then this uh, is another one of these shells. And what I've done before is like I've created a lot with like all these shell bracelets. This is actually kind of cute. This one's in good shape. It's better than some of the other ones I've seen, that's for sure. Hey, Mary. Um, so, yeah. Um, chances are likely that it'll end up like in a shell type lot. I've done that before, and I think that's one of the ones that have sold. I have a couple that haven't sold. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Okay, next up, I'm trying to figure out what this is. You guys can help me. It is a, it's on a chain, obviously. It's got a lot of colorful things. Are they, are they shoes? Are they shoes? I was like, are they bear claws? What are they? I think they're shoes. They're little plastic shoes. At first I thought, well, are they shark teeth? Are they bear claws? It's like a rainbow of shoes, only there's extra colors of the rainbow. Ooh, what would you do with that, Margaret? I don't know. That looks fun, though. And people that are runners love shoe stuff. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Princess Casserole. How's it going? Oh, and if you haven't yet, go over and, and hit the like button. I'm going to tell you all the things to do for your day, and then you'll be done. Um, go hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures. Join Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers and join our new buy and sell group. Texas gals, treasure traders. And we've got a contest going over there. Jeff says, I toss it. I toss it in your face. Like that. Boom. In your face, Jeff. So there. All right. Next up, we have a necklace that looks like a Brighton necklace, kind of. So it's got these sort of teardrop shape pieces. Ooh, this is a good one. Um, you throw it in a lot. I know. A part of me is like, I yeah, I don't know. I like it, though. Maybe I just like to look at it and, like, play with the shoes like I'm a child. I don't know. <laughs> Cold. You had it coming. <laughs> then, oh, it is a Brighton. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, This one I might put in our auction because somebody was telling me that Brighton stuff can do well in the auctions. And actually, the pair of earrings that I got from the same... Is it the same one? I got a pair of earrings at the at the garage sale in that hall that I've already sold to a person that watched the whole video. So this one will probably go into my auction, <laughs> my auction lot stuff. Then we've got this circle that was probably part of an earring or pendant or something. It's got some tarnish on it, so oh, I do have a magnet. I was like, oh, I should check that with my magnet. Okay, it's not magnetic, so. I I don't know, might be silver, maybe not. And then, oh, what's up, what's up with that? Okay, this is, it's it's obviously an acronym because there's abbreviations for it, but I don't know what it is. And it's a rainbow strap and it says push on it. Unless it's like, don't forget in case you forgot when you were having a baby, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, that's why I'm here push. Thank goodness I had my push bracelet on. And I'm sorry if that's for something really serious and I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got this. It's got some kind of like sticky stuff on it. I don't know what this green stuff is. So this will probably go into a craft lot. Yeah, like that. Okay. We've got an earring. Let's go to the side. This is a good $5 bag. I tell you what. Woo. All right. Next, we've got a stretchy bracelet that 
could either go into a mystery lot. I don't like to do a lot of these in the mystery lots or into a craft, not a craft lot, but a jewelry lot. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll put in like one of these if there's like 25 things. Prayer? Pray until something happens. Oh, I guess this would work if you were having a baby because then you're both, you're wanting both. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I don't know that. I think the shoes are given to people who walk, walking for breast cancer walk. Oh, I need to ask because my a good uh, friend of mine, um, she's doing that. What's it called? Oh, what's it called? She just posted it, but it's one of the breast cancer walks. Yeah. Um, this is tangled. Sorry, and it's all on this magnet. It's just really trying to like drive me crazy this morning. There, got it. Okay, I'm gonna find out about that because that that would be good to know. Uh, hang on. I got another tangle. So this is a fun bracelet. Once it's done being annoying, it's so fun. It's annoying and fun, just like me. <laughs> um, so there are some things that are tangled up around this bit of the magnet chains that don't belong. I don't think, no, this doesn't belong. This magnet is very strong there. I got it. Now then to figure out why it's it twisted like this. This is weird. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So this is a bracelet that I finally managed to get squared away and it looks like that. It's pretty cool. Look at it. Yes. Hardcore. Um, <laughs> uh, where would I do this? I might sell it or put it in a mystery lot. One or the other. We'll see. Either I would sell it or put it in a mystery lot. Then we've got this, looks like a broken chain. Oh, hi. You live in, jo is that close by me? <laughs> hey, Louise. I'm new to this area, so it could totally be really, really close by. So this broken chain would go into a craft lot. Isn't that bracelet cool? Okay, the next up, okay, that's an earring. I'm putting earrings to the side. We've got one of these bracelets, and this one has got some mess on it. It's got a cross, but it's got some like corrosion and stuff. So this would probably go into a craft lot in case somebody wanted to pick it apart. Yeah. All right, we've got another little watch. I wish I could remember where this lady's garage sale was because, man, if she has another one, I'm her girl. So it's a citizen watch and it's broken. It's, yeah. Anyway, or it, it looks like it's just missing a pin. So if it were worth something, it'd be worth looking into fixing. Mm, so this will just go with watches for right now until I figure out watches. Someday we will tackle that tub. I'm sure there's some money in there. All right, another broken chain that will go into a craft lot. Um, oh good, I'm so glad. Yeah, the, the PayPal one, I'm hoping that people can use it. There's this chain. It this one, I mean it's a nice looking chain. So hmm, hmm, but it's magnetic. So this would probably just go into like a jewelry lot. Not a mystery lot, but a jewelry lot. And I'm specifying because some I, I forget sometimes. This is a little curly stretchy bracelet it's lost a bit of its stretch um but this would probably oh you voted her in. oh yeah hello oh it is, and it's voting day that's right i was like wait I'm th it's taking me a second to catch up on your comment there go vote everybody all right so this bracelet would probably go into a craft lot with all the little curly pearls oh good <laughs> I'm glad Jan then this one it's one of these type bracelets I might put this in a mystery lot I've sold some that are like this before this one's actually pretty nice it's tight it's got a good pull to it there so this one might end up in a mystery lot that's cute and then this oh got another broken chain that will go into a craft lot I could be sorting these right now but I'm not I'm throwing them into a tub to sort them for another day because I like to do things the hard way, I guess. So, <laughs> oh, we have 53 friends watching. Thanks for coming to hang out this morning, you guys. Okay, hang on. I'm putting these to the side. I have some earrings that I'm pulling out. Oh, that looks cute. What is that? What is it? 
it is a charm like there's a charm on it it looks like it's it wants to be a carousel ferris wheel ferris wheel right unless i'm unless it's something else and it spins around but wouldn't that like tangle up on your necklace what's the story with this what do you think uh, mm, i don't know it's i like it though whatever it is it's different so this would I don't know. If I figure out what it is, I might sell it myself because it's cool. Oh, okay. So what I've got going on over here, Cassie's got a question. You have a record sale. Oh, good job. Oh, that's great, Julie. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, so what I've got, what I'm doing, I can't show you my tubs over there, but I've got some tubs where I'm sorting. Okay, so a mystery lot, if people buy like a mystery lot for me, they get jewelry that's not broken, you know, that that's there's different levels of good goodness goodness but it's not broken it's all something that you could sell or wear things like that um and it's a mystery <laughs> so then i also do like i'm gonna do a jewelry lot where it's like you can I'll lay it out where you can see all the stuff in it so but try not to have broken stuff then a craft lot will be like broken chains or things that are missing stones things like that what else do i have over there and then auction is the stuff we'll do on the auction. Or either, I think it's for a charm bracelet too. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, and then like stuff that I'm gonna sell personally. Cause I don't have a lot of time to do that. Okay, so we've got another watch and it's a, it looks like it says it's a guest watch. So that'll go with the get, the watches for now. Hey, Tam's place is here, how's it going? All right, you are tangled again. But I've got a bracelet here. I'm trying to disentangle from all this other stuff. So here's this. Like, here's a bracelet that it's tarnished. Do we think it might be silver? I see a stamp, maybe. It's not magnetic. Where'd my loop go? Did I bring my magnet over here, but not my loop? Why would I do that? Because it's you. Nope, there's my loop. <laughs> hi, hi. We've got plenty. I may have to, depending on the time, I may have to do one of these now and one of these later. Eh, I don't think it's really silver. I don't think so. Or else it's plated or something. I'm not sure. It's got some sort of eight, like, characters on it. If you can see it right. Let me see if I can get my loop. I've done it before. Maybe I can do it again. You see those characters? It's got, I don't know the difference between... Chinese, Japanese, Korean, different characters. And I wish I did, because I don't want to offend anybody. But it's got characters on it. But then you see the greenish tint to the patina on there? That makes me wonder about the tarnish. Anyway, I could check I could check it out. So maybe silver? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um I'm gonna have to go quicker if I'm gonna do both of these. We're going to Houston today, so. But I thought, let's do this first. <laughs> the kids are working on some school stuff out there. I put them, I didn't, we're did, not doing a lot of our school stuff today. We're doing some of it. They're doing the stuff they can do without me, which is nice for today. It's not usual. Oh, we, we recorded a day in the life yesterday, so you can see what our crazy days are like. Oh, we'll have to put that up soon. Okay, this is a big tangled bunch of stuff. It's a cool necklace. So it's got these like really cool like mermaid iridescent beads and then it's got these shells. So this could definitely be like a mermaid necklace with those colors in the shells and stuff. So this might this might go into a mystery lot that I would do. I try to put nicer stuff in the mystery lot and every now and then like I'll put a couple things that are like a stretchy bracelet or something. But I try to do fairly nice stuff in there. Just stuff that I would list but I don't have time kind of thing. Then there's this that I'm trying to figure out. It's cool if I can figure out what it is. It's got this really cool, just kind of like marbly colored stone. Um, Uh-oh, I missed something. Okay, yikes. No, thank you. Oh, I see now. Okay, so it was it was on something. So it's got a hook on one side. And maybe like a fan pool? You think somebody was using this as a fan pool? I don't know. It's really pretty. 
So, ooh, what would I do with this? Ah, what do you think? Do you think it's a fan pool? Um, I've heard that people are not getting their notifications. Uh, I don't know why it's happening with YouTube. So would I put this in a craft lot? Because I wouldn't put it in a mystery lot because it's not exactly jewelry. But it's really cool. I haven't decided yet. That's, that's on the fence. <laughs> okay, then next, I've still got quite a bit to go. So we've got this um, necklace. I can't believe all this was five bucks. Man, this is a good deal. This little necklace is pretty cute. This one might go into a mystery a lot because I don't think I have time to list it on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, Claire and Clutter's there. Hi. All right, we've got another one of these. This one would, I mean, it's in good shape. You see, it's clean and the string looks really good. So this might go maybe into that lot like I had the with the shells and stuff because it kind of goes with that. Unless I make like a mermaid lot and put it in the auction. Would people like that? We've got craft lot fodder. <laughs> and what is this? Okay, you come over here. You are a long something. It is a long, oh, it, I think it's as a, um, American, wait, no, A-E, that's, um, not American Eagle Outfitters, or is it, is that what that one is? A-E is American Eagle, or is it Aeropostal? I don't know, it's one of those, but it's got all these little charms on it. So this one I'd probably put, like, in a jewelry lot where I'd lay everything out where you could see all the stuff, you know? Kind of like a fun lot for people to look at. All right. Then there's this cute little, it looks like a child's bracelet. Oh, it's really dainty and sweet. Look at the little hearts. That's so cute. Like a little heart charm bracelet. I might try to list that myself just because it's so sweet. And, oh, no. <laughs> then, oh, make a mermaid lot. Okay. There's this. It's a broken bracelet with two, like, pearly beads on it. It is magnetic, so this will go into a craft lot. Yeah. Then, I've got some earrings up here. I'm waiting for, for mates on. Boop, 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 boop. We've got another, like, rhinestone-type necklace. I've done some of these in mystery lots before, so that might go into a mystery lot. <laughs> Did you guys go to a, hang on. Oh, wow. Your local thrift store had everything 50 cents. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like awesome and scary, like, at the same time. Because <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I'm not good with crowds, honestly. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> like, Friday, like, good Friday, not good Friday, but, um, what's the Friday? Black Friday? Oh, my gosh. I know my magnet. <laughs> It's my giant magnet wand. <laughs> oh, there it is. Wait, it gets smaller. There. All right, so this chain will go into a craft lot. <laughs> Another earring. I, and I did make a, a separate tub for solo earrings. So maybe someday I'll either find the mates or, or lot them all up. Um... So this one, I'm going to probably put, like, in a jewelry lot that, you know, you could see all the stuff. Because, because, here, let's see. Just in case. Yep. Magnetic. But it's fun. It'd be fun to do. Okay. We've got one of these again. It's not broken or anything. But, I don't know. I'd put it in a lot. Not a mystery lot, though. Wait, that's an earring. We're waiting for a mate. These really okay. These are really pretty shells, though. Look at this one. This might go in my mermaid lot because those are really pretty. They're not like the normal, like shell necklaces you see. And I know these have a name, and I don't know them. They've got really pretty colors, and they're really smooth. Cool. Yeah, cute. They seem a little 
a little more high class ocean <laughs> coming from the right side of the ocean, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, this will probably go into a craft lot with the beads and stuff. Why do I check to see if it's magnetic? Well, um, it, if it is magnetic, that means it's not going to be sterling silver or gold. So I use the magnet to kind of narrow it down for me. So if it's not magnetic, I can look at it a little closer. It doesn't necessarily mean it is silver or gold. It just means like, okay, go look and see if you find a mark or something like that. We've got another watch here. This one's at, does it say Constantinople? What does that say? I'm reading backwards, so don't make fun of me. And I'm lost in the middle. Complimental? What does that say? <laughs> Going nuts now. Okay, what does that say? Contemplate. I got through half the word and my brain just went, you can't read backwards. What are you doing? Um, see, so this is contemplate. <laughs> All right, it's got a cute band, though. I like the little stars. Those are cute. And that's going to go with the watch stuff. Oh, jug. This is what I'm talking about. Where it's like all nasty and like. Bleh. So this is. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to craft lot. <laughs> Do watches. I, I haven't sold a lot of watches. But I've just been hoarding them. Because I don't know it a lot about them, so I'm nervous I'll do something wrong. I'll, like, sell them wrong or something. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at right now with watches. I would like to know more. That's something I need to know more. But I think, I think Debbie sells watches. Debbie, are you there? I think you sell watches, right? Or we were, I felt like we were talking about it, one, one, one or the other. All right, so this has a seven. It looks like it's drilled into a coin. Lucky number seven. We've got a plus. We've got, this is like a lucky necklace. And it is drilled into something. I'm going to look closer. And then it's put on like this chain like so. And what does it say? Y'all, I'm, I'm dreaming. Or tell me what it says at the top, because it's too weird. My eyes are seeing Texas gal, and I feel like that's crazy. It can't say that. No, it doesn't. It says T-E-X-E-G-A-L, Texas gal. But it must be in the middle of another word, because I'm like, that seems like it says Texas gal. What does it say? It's probably part of a bigger word. I see 1977 down there. Uh, or does it say bicentennial? No, that's a G. Okay. What's the story with this coin? Okay. I can. Uh, it's somebody's lucky coin that I think I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean it up. It's a mystery. I don't think it's a quarter. It's not quite big enough. And it looks like a lady, you see? Like, it looks like there's a woman there. There's her foot. Uh, I'm not even sure it's in English, honestly. Let's see. Let's try to look at it a little closer. And it's backwards for me now, so I can't see it. I'm turning it. Maybe you guys can read it better, or I can come back and. What do you guys see? 18 something to 1977. I see that. Uh, is that in French? Gal. Galette? I don't know. Okay. I was hoping y'all would see it and be like, it says this. Don't freak out. Mm. Fraternal, fratern. F R A T E R N I T E. Fra. I don't know. Okay, I'll put a picture. C F R A T E R N 
I-T-E, fraternite? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. Because I'm like, ooh, do I have a new lucky coin? That'll be, that's all good. <laughs> Galit, fraternite, liberté. That sounds Latin. Uh, Ega, legal, right, fraternite, liberté, fraternite. If that's what it says, I'll ask my mom because she knows Latin. Um, okay, so there's that one. This would probably go into a jewelry lot. Yeah, I know. I think it says something, 18-something to 1977, I think. Okay, so then these ones, it's broken. So these would probably go into a craft lot too. Could be a fraternity. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. I'll have to take a picture, like Mary says, instead of wasting time <laughs> trying to figure it out. All right, so this one would probably go into just like a craft lot. This is cool. It's on like a little stretchy. What does it say? Rock on! Yeah, it does. Rock on! And it's on a stretchy, stretchy bracelet. That's cute. Um. Oh, okay. Becky says, Liberté, Egalité, frater Fraternité is the motto of the French Revolution, meaning freedom, equality, and fraternity. Oh, I like it. <laughs> but somebody lost their head in that one, right? A couple somebodies, a bunch of somebodies on French coins. Okay, cool. All right. I like it. So next up, we've got this bracelet, which looks like the, hang on, I'm trying to tell. It looks like, I can't tell if it's supposed to be that way, if the coating is coming off these black beads. I don't think that's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like that. I'll have to look at it closer. Because that'll probably go into a craft lot if they're not supposed to be that way. It looks weird. It looks like this black is peeling off of them. But it's weird because it doesn't look like it should be that way. So if I think it's normal, <laughs> then it'll go like maybe into like a, a jewelry lot or a mystery lot. But if I think that those black beads are peeling or something, but that's not the style of that bead. That doesn't make sense. Then they would go maybe into a mystery lot or something. You say it's French. All right, next we've got this interesting little coil bracelet. It coils around like so, but if you let go, boing, it's really firm and boings out. Okay, there's that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Marie Antoinette, yeah. <laughs> Marie and, yeah. I know. I'm just making sillies, y'all. The French Revolution and all that, all that jazz, lots of, okay, um, it's all tangled up. It'll go into a craft lot. <laughs> okay, the, hang on, this is tangled. Why are you stuck on here? Are you supposed to be stuck on there? I don't think so, maybe. No? Okay, this is tangled on this, this thing. Hang on, let me get it off. Maybe I see why you're in this lot. Okay, that's probably going to a craft lot. But then we've got this really unusual, it looks like a leaf. Oh, it is just like a leaf, okay. And it's enameled or something iridescent on it. It's really cool. Oh, thanks for hanging out. And then it's on this beaded bracelet. That's cool. That might just go into like a jewelry lot. There's some really cute stuff in here though. I like that leaf. All right, next. Next, some broken watch pieces. And this, I had the other earring for this. I know I saw it. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh no, that's not the right piece. Never mind. Okay, over there. Then, ooh, you're fun. Where, where do you start and where do you stop? I don't know. Um, okay. What are you? Aha, I see it now. It's a necklace. Wow. It's got a lot going on. This necklace has a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> but it's cool. So there's that. Like this style. Wow, that is a commitment. I don't know. 
<laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Yeah, it's fun, right? This is one I might put in the auction just for funsies because that's got a lot going on. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it's like one of those that hangs like right at the base of the neck, you know? Oh, thanks, Gabby. I don't wear it too often. It was my grandmother's. And so I'm like, I'm wearing it today. It's one of those like, I want to wear this. <laughs> Why do I have to keep it put up all the time? I want to wear it. Um, Does it have a mark? This necklace? No, not that I can see unless it's on one of the charms. But not that I... Yeah, for sure it is. Yeah, total statement piece. I don't see anything. It's got like an acorn in there. Okay, then another watch. Oh, this is a fossil watch. Okay. There's that. I would think like a fossil watch might do okay. Because somebody, like I have a fossil watch that I really like. And if it broke and I want another one just like that, um, I would, you know, look for that particular one. All right, then we've got this little watch piece. Hang on. It's, oh, yeah. Thanks, Gabby. Um, Gabby. All right, then this piece of this would go into a, a craft lot. Oh, you sell them. Oh, Bessie says she replaces the batteries and, and sells them a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's good. To, um, and I think it's fairly easy to get batteries and stuff for them oh i'm so happy this is in here hang on because in the in the bead lot there were a few of these and i was like oh i love fossils and stuff and then and I, of course i'd already sold the bead lot so yay now i have one for me boom little ammonite then we've got this little fella he's like hey guys look at me and my sash it's so sparkly don't you like it and my red shoes i will kick you with him kick kick there. Um, so I don't know what's going on with you, dude. You'll probably go into a into a craft lot, even though you're awesome. You'll make my craft lot sell because you're that awesome. Then we've got some little bits that are just gonna go like to a craft lot. What else is down in here? We have oh yay, another snail. Little snail shell. An ammonite, like a maybe, maybe it's an ammonite. I'll have to see what the little ones are called, if they're still called ammonites. Then, huh. Yeah. So there's this one green stone on a screw back earring. I'm going to set that to the side because that's a curiosity for me. Um, I'm looking at the bottom of this bag because there's just like little bits. But sometimes you find cool stuff in the little bits, like this sweet little charm. It's like a little angel charm that might go into a lot. I think she's silver. Hang on. Yeah, she is. She's marked Peru 925. That's sweet. What does that say? I'm trying to see. There's some. There's like another little heart mark in there. That's pretty cute. So that might go like into a mystery lot or something. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, the rest of the stuff that's down in here is like the back of a watch and, oh, there's the mate to one of my earrings. There's the other half of that earring. Boom, right there. Okay, so most of that stuff is like craft lot stuff. The rest of these earrings, I found one of the pairs. They're kind of like, like these earrings, see how they're kind of like scratched up and stuff? Um, so I wouldn't sell them, but I would not put them in a mystery lot either because I wouldn't send that to somebody where it's all like, oh, I can't. What am I going to do with that? So those would go into like a different jewelry lot or a craft lot. Okay, second bag. How long have we been at this? Hang on. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're okay. Let's see if I can do this bag in 20 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> Starting now. Amalai, Ammonites. One has... Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, next up, I'm gonna put this over here so I don't lose it. So we're digging into the second bag now. There's not as much little teeny stuff in there, so maybe that'll help us move it along. We've got this stretchy bracelet, and if it's not missing any stones, this might be like, you know, if I send 25 things, this might be one of the 
25 that goes into a mystery lot, something like that. Hello, Corinne, how are you? Okay, then, come on, don't tangle on me now. Oh, you're gonna tangle on me. This looks like a hair thing, like the hair, this actually would look good on me. I would have to clean it, like one of those, like, because I have a big head, you guys. I really do. Look, there she is. Punky Brewster. Okay, I'm gonna take it off and clean it, and then I'll play with it. <laughs> okay, then, remember Punky, Punky Brewster, her friend Cherry always wore like a headband around her head, eh, like across her forehead. All right, so that's a cute little necklace. That might go into a mystery lot if it's in good shape. Let's see. As long as it looks good. Um, ooh, okay. These are some earrings. Oh, I saw the mate for that other one. Artistic Works by Lou. And this is the other one. There, they're all there. Those are cute. So those might end up in a mystery lot too. Those are cute. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have a show. Well, maybe you could have a show like that nowadays. Like, old man finds little girl in his attic and decides to keep her. Right? She's a random orphan that shows up. Because isn't that how he found her? Like, she was hiding in his attic or something. Or is upstairs. She snuck into his house. And he's just like, I'm going to adopt you, little girl. Um. Oh, on, on the auctioning, I do it on my YouTube channel. So, I do it here. These are some nice black beads. They're very clicky. Um, and I usually do it every other week. And my friend Cindy helped me. Okay, that's broken, but they have really pretty beads. So this would go on to into like a craft lot with all the pretty beads and stuff. And dun 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 dun. Oh, I got an earring here that needs to come over. There. This one is like a broken chain with really fun little tassels and stuff. Um and so this would go into a craft lot, only it's swinging all over the place. Right? I don't remember that. Okay, then, oh, look, here's a little Paris keychain. That's cute. Um, I might throw that into a craft lot or something. That's cute. I like it, though. Then another pair of earrings. They're nice and green. Look how pretty those are. So those would probably go into a mystery lot as well. Hey, Darlene. How's it going? Ah, ha, ha. Crystal. I'll have to check it out and see if that's, um, you know, glass, glass, crystal. Because people buy crystal. What's the word? Chandelier. Chandelier. Stuff. Stuff. Gosh, I'm so good with words today. All right, then we've got this one. This would probably go just into a jewelry, jewel, jewelry lot where I laid everything out. I'm trying to get it sorted as much as I can. What I've decided is I'm not going to try to sort everything. I'm going to sort it until I have enough to make a few lots, shoot the pictures, share it, and then sort the next, the next big bunch, like into like plastic shoe tubs. Because if I try to sort everything first, it will never, ever, ever happen. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, yum, Darlene, send me some. Can I beef stew for winter? Yum. You don't have to really send me some. I'm just saying, that sounds really good. I love canning, and I love beef stew. Do you put barley in it? My mom puts barley in her stews. Not that you're my mom, or that you're even her age. I'm not. You don't have to be so worried. People get, not, I'm not that I think you're getting offended. <laughs> People get offended if you say the wrong thing. Um, I'm trying to cover my tracks and putting my foot further down in my mouth. <laughs> All right, so this has a sweet little flower mark on it. It's really nice little red beads. They're not plastic, I don't think. They're maybe like a ceramic or enameled. Um, this might go into maybe like one of my mystery lots. It's a sweet little bracelet. I mean, necklace, rather. Uh... That would probably go into a just a jewelry lot. Bye. Thanks for coming. Clearing clutter for clarity. And I know your name and I can't think of it right now. I'm a horrible friend. <laughs> it, it just left my brain. Um, so this matches that little bracelet that I had. 
It, it's, it's broken or else a piece. No, yeah, this piece of that thing came off of this thing. I, it looks like it'd probably be an easy fix, but I'm not going to fix it. So I'm going to put it in craft light. You think that's... Mm, I, I know what you mean, but I don't think so, because I can see where the red paint kind of chipped off a little bit there. And I can see the red on there. Um, but yeah, otherwise I would totally be down with the coral. And it's super cold to the touch. Coral? Is it cold to the touch? I think so. This is pretty. Very colorful necklace. I can't believe this was in there. That was cute. That's really pretty. I think I would sell this myself. Because I think that's something that multi-strand necklaces tend to do okay. And this one has got lots of really pretties. That's really pretty. Okay, cool. Uh oh, yay, earrings. I got a I got a mate. We got a mate. So these are these ones. Those are cute. Those might go into like a mystery lot. They're pretty cute. And what are you doing? What are, are you on there? Do you belong to that? No, you don't. Wow. I hope your mate's there because you are funky. Okay. Uh, this looks like maybe somebody was making some jewelry because this matches that other chain. And then it's connected to these big old pearls. It's a long one. Like so. Um, ooh, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin cake sounds good, Julie. So then this will probably go into a mystery lot. Oh, these cool gray beads. You don't see gray beads very often. I might try to sell those just because of that, just for that very reason. You know, you don't, um, I don't see gray beads very often. So, okay, earring. Hey, 81 friends, go over there and hit the thumbs up. Wow, I love this. Oh, it matches my, it matches my dress. Okay, look at this, look at this. It's a bracelet. It's got all of these Colorful, colorful beads, and it's got a toggle. Wow, I really like this. It's not something I normally would wear either. I don't know. Once I get it on, I may not wear it either. <laughs> but it kind of matches my dress. Okay, I will probably, ooh, would I sell this? Or, oh, yeah, I'm probably going to try to, oh, I'm torn. This was all in this five bucks, y'all. This is a lot of good stuff for five bucks. See, five bucks. Um, isn't that cool? <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna keep it. It's a little too, and I have small wrists. It's a little too small for my wrist. Or it's gonna be really snug. Maybe it's supposed to fit snug. You know? I mean, it fits me, but just. You know? I guess it's supposed to be worn snug. That would make sense. All right. I haven't, I'm not keeping it, but I haven't decided if I'm going to try to sell it or put it in a mystery lot. Hang on. Some things fell into my lap. Next, we have a bit of plastic bag. That's always fun. And then you, I don't know where your earring mate is. And then we've got one of these bracelets that seems to be an okay shape. But these are another one of those that get really nasty, gross, you know, if they get worn and sweaty. That one's, that one's okay. Maybe that would go in my mermaid lot that I'm considering making. Okay, earring, broken chain, that'll go in a craft lot. This one would probably just, oh, missing stone, craft lot. And that is a watch that's... Does it say Peugeot on it? I think that's what that says. I think that's a car maker. But I think maybe they make watches too. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's read it again now that I've moved that. Yeah, Peugeot. I feel like I've looked up this brand before. I feel like my son found a watch that was a Peugeot. It seems like it would be worth more than it probably is. Okay, then... Come here, quit it. Don't do that. Listen to my words. Hey, I'm detangling. Oh yeah, for sure. This has been a really good value. So this is a keychain with some, you know, bowling stuff on it. And the back says Bells and Bow 77. Cool. So vintage. All right. I'd probably try to 
I want to sell it. Maybe. I'll look it up and see what I see out there um, as far as bowling keychains. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I know people collect bowling stuff, but if not, it'll go into like a craft lot or something. That's sweet. That might go into a mystery bag because I think that's pretty sweet. And, oh, yay. These are nice. Okay. So here's some earrings. If you can't see them yet. They are silver and they are inset with abalone. Are you broken? Are you just that color? That's the thing with the abalone. You gotta get in there. Yeah, it's just that purpley color. And those are silver. Sweet! Are you opening a jar along with me? Yeah, I'll sell these. Those are sweet little silver and abalone earrings. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sell those. Not too bad. I like it. All right, craft lot. Craft lot. Um, meh, tangles. Tangles. I am detangling you. So, what are you? Okay. I I feel bad when I detangle stuff in front of y'all. Because it's just like so, you can't really see what I'm doing. It's boring. But there. Okay, I'm separating this stuff out. Look, you just got caught on that on purpose. You were separated. There you go. So much for that. All right, you over here. Now, we have a little sweet golden chain. I'm going to look at that mark. Because it's got marks on it. And that side. What does that say? It was upside down for you, I know. First, let's grab the magnet before I get excited. <laughs> before I'm like, ooh, is it something good? It is not magnetic. That doesn't mean anything, Margaret. Just chill. And so, <sighs> breathing. Oh, thank you. I mean, just because it says 14K Italy doesn't mean that it really is, right? And just uh, uno a ere. I don't know what that means either. So, I mean, U-N-O dot A dot E-R-R-E. -R -R -E. Did we just find 14K? So that says 14K. Italy. I do have acid testing. It's over over there. I need to buy new gloves. I'm all out of gloves though. You see that? And then let's flip it over. Ooh, exciting. I'm so glad I didn't auction off this bag. <laughs> That'll learn me. Don't auction off those bags, Margaret. I, I, I've never heard of this before. Uno Airy. Cool. Okay, I'll have to test it because because I'm looking at the little clasp too just to see. Yeah, there's a 14K on the clasp as well. I don't know if you can see it. If I can hold my hand still, which I just probably can't. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I know. Okay. Yay. Gold. <laughs> you know that one? Oh, wait. What was it? The Uno uh, Airy, is it something? Is it think something I need to know about? I don't know that one. Okay, these are funk Funkalicious earrings. It looks like go from here, yay! <laughs> it's either a good knockoff or a really nice find. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. It seems legit. The, the marking seems pretty clean, you know what I mean? The, in, whatever the Uno, I don't know this brand, or maker or whatever but it seems you know like some of the knockoffs well i guess good knockoffs wouldn't be messy but some of the the stamps look really kind of yucky this one's like really super clean okay has the chain um well like this one is marked 14k that and then this is also marked 14k and then this is not magnetic so it's all adding up in the right direction at least Okay. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Okay, so then 
<laughs> Look at these earrings. They're giant blue enameled on one side and then like so on the other side. I will probably list these funky things just because they're so funky weird. Hang on. I'm closing this one up. <laughs> they're like remind me of the 80s big time. I, I really, yeah, I'm really, I kind of like them. I'm embarrassed that I like them. <laughs> you know, they're really super light, though, for their size. I don't think I'd wear them, but I don't like them. They're funky. They're, they're a blast from the past. Yeah, totally, Dan. All right, so there's that craft lot. Are you guys still watching Brain Pop? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're doing brain pop. So this is probably going into a craft lot because um, it's a mess. And again, some craft lot beads. I'm so excited about that bracelet. Okay, then this is a very unusual chain. Look. It's like a chain within a chain. They're all twisty. Aren't they fun? They're very cool. I, hmm, I'm curious about these. So I'm going to set them aside and do a little research because I don't normally see chains that look like that and they look really cool. So I'm going to do a little digging on that chain and see what I find out. Uh, this is a really good bag. Oh my gosh, where was this garage sale? Oh, I hope your mate is there. Please, there is. If there is a heaven above, <laughs> that cool earring will have a mate. That's horrible. There are better things to hope for from the heavens above than an earring mate. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, yeah, I know. I wonder, hey, Richard, I'm going to look at it closer for that. So that's a really cute Geneva watch. Geneva watches are like a dime a dozen, but it's in good shape. And it's, you know, it's got a nice green band. They look good. Looks nice. All right, possible craft lot. I'm going to look at you just because we've had gold. And so you're golden color. Look, Mardi Gras beads. See, if somebody was like, I don't buy bags that have Mardi Gras beads in them. Never. I wouldn't touch it. Not that I've ever heard anybody say that, but I'm just pretending. I would never buy a bag with Mardi Gras beads. Huh. But. We found a, a, gold, a gold bracelet in it. Yay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Y'all are saying, hey, I was like, Granny Josie doesn't normally sass or say mean stuff. So I thought you were, like, exclaiming at something she said. Mardi Gras beads. Ugh. No way. No how. Okay. I'm going to look at you closer. <laughs> I know. I am happy. That's, that's going to send us on our nice little road trip. This is going to a craft lot. It's cute. Okay. I found the mate. So one of the, this earring was in the other bag. This earring, oh, it's not a mate. They're not the same size. All right. Put them back over here and hope again. Oh, wait, maybe they are. Because this one's like stretched. I think this one's just been curved. That Yeah, there we go. That one just was out of whack. And they look like they might be silver. Nope, they're not. Boom, not silver. But they're nice earrings. So depending on their condition, they might go into a mystery lot because the condition is looks pretty fair. Oh, we've got an ear uh, bracelet blank for like little mosaics or pictures or something. Um, so that'll go into a craft lot. I know, right? These garage, this garage, ah, more Minecraft beads. I gotta wash my hands now. Whoa. <gasps> Okay, don't peek. I'm going to put these on. No peeking. These are going on. <laughs> Hang on. Don't peek. Cover your eyes in case I pop up too soon. Don't look. You ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, we didn't make it in 20 minutes. Alexa, stop. Look at these behemoth beauties. Hello, darlings. Look at these I know. Where do I get them? They were a gift. Can you believe it? They're amazing. They're so amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm going to sew one of these. I want to use what I want to do. I want to wear these to like one of my homeschool mom, like hang out things with the kids, like at the park, park play date and see if somebody says anything. I just want to wear them and see if anybody's going to be like, what the? <laughs> I'm like, really just like, wow. Or if they're just going to like play nice and not say anything and just be like, don't, don't even tell her. Just don't, <laughs> just don't say anything. <gasps> oh, <laughs> they're magnificent. <gasps> they're magnificent. Okay, these are gonna be like, keep for now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like this soft, like papery leather stuff. I don't know. And then, oh. Mm -mm, I coming back on. <laughs> Are you going to be able to focus on the rest of the haul? I mean, I'm going to be able to. Do I love these more or less than the than the gold bracelet I found? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there now. I feel better. I feel like they are a part of me. <laughs> wow. All right. They're just I'm basking in their magnificence. I wonder what my mom would say. I'm gonna roll up my mom's house. They're ravishing. That's the word. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Ravishing. <laughs> I feel like I should like do this with my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I can show the gold bracelet again. They won't, it's not as amazing as these earrings, though. <laughs> So here's the gold bracelet that we found. You know, e -Ere. And it's marked 14K Italy on the back. And then the clasp is also marked 14K. <laughs> I don't own Crocs. That's something I don't own. Thank heavens. I haven't sunk that low yet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so these ones will go into a craft lot. This one is lower. I gotta make them even. Oh, Carol Burnett. She is like a hero. She's Carol Burnett is 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 everything. <laughs> I don't think I've ever described anybody else that way. But yeah, Carol Burnett, come on. <sighs> Do you ever just put something on and you just write the curtain dress? Right. <laughs> yes. If you saw that, that was on the Muppet Show, right? The one where Carol Burnett. Or was that on one of her was that on the Muppet Show or was that on the Carol Burnett Show? Where she did the thing with the scarlet, with the curtain, with the... Anyway. So we've got a scarf clip that's got a missing stone. So this will be... Um, I have not done it. I would totally... Actually, Rich is... I, I did... In, on my channel, I read the book, The um, Velveteen Rabbit, and I submitted a, a, some of it to Audible to do, like, Audi read audiobooks, you know, um, but I never heard back from them, but I would totally do it. I would love to do that. Come on. That would be so much fun. It was on her show. Okay. Okay. Maybe the, when she was on the Muppet show, she did something. Uh, she did something on the Muppet show. And I can't think of what it was. Unless she's never been on the Muppet show and I'm just dreaming. Okay. This one. This is Aeropostal. So that's cute. This one, oh, it's got some yucky gunky. So this would go like into a jewelry lot where I would have everything laid out. Carol Burnett, yes. <laughs> All right, this would go maybe into the mermaid lot. Again, another one, mermaid lot or craft lot, one or the other. These, I just, they just feel so right. They feel right. <laughs> so these ones, okay, this looks, the, there were some similar stones like that in the, in the bead lot. So these, it's broken. So this will go into a craft lot, but those are fun red beads. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would love to do voiceover stuff. I think that would be so much fun. I was a theater major for, for like three years, two and a half, three years. 
I would totally, totally do it. This is in pretty good shape. It's shell, but it's not mermaid colors. So maybe it would go into like a mystery lot. Ooh. What are you? What are, what are you? Are you a hair thing? I need help. Okay, you guys tell me what this is. It's got this gorgeous green stone setting, but then it's on this like stretchy thing, but it's super small. Is it like a baby bracelet? Like for a really fancy baby? Like, what do you think? Um, <laughs> thanks you guys. What do you, I mean, or is it a hair? Like you re like tie it into your hair? Like a hair rubber band thing? It's this, I don't know. I know, right? It's like, it's so, it's almost done. But it's, you think it's, it was a ring that got stretched out? That's a shame. Because look at that gorgeous thing. Can I put it on my hair? It's like really woven into that setting. A napkin ring. Could be a napkin ring. But I would want to wear it. Could be for the hair. I'm going with my fancy baby. It's like a really, like a diva baby, right? We all have had a diva baby now. You think it's going in the craft lot? It should go in the craft lot. I think it should go in my hair. Okay, craft lot. All right. Uh, okay, that doesn't have a mate. There. Scarf ring thing. That's an option. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you go over here. I've got some solo earrings that's going into the craft lot. It's cool wood, like inset, though. That's cool. We crafters like the bling, too. And then there's another one of these. These, Because I only have a couple of them. They may go into the craft lot, too. Okay, I'm feeling them. This one's plastic. This one is either glass or crystal. Because this one I do like so. Like, this one is cold to the touch. And this one is, like, room temperature. So, yeah. And then even the sound of it's like that's plastic and that's crystally. Cut the woven part, part off and glue it to a bread. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, craft lot. Oh, that's cute and kind of creepy. It's cute, but then its eyes look hollow and that makes it, and it's got huge hair. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Do we have another glorious something? It's got like a white afro and hollow eyes. Wow. Okay, it's yellow, not white. Ugh, that is kind of creepy. That's not at all comforting. Look at those hollow eyes. They almost look red. Do not be afraid, child. I am here. Ah! <laughs> no, it's, it's disturbing, kind of. And I don't use that word lightly. It's Does it have a maker's mark? No. <laughs> it's a bit it's quite it's creepy right um wow i i'm gonna put that there and not and i'm gonna think about it later it's one of those i won't think about that right now i'll think about that tomorrow <laughs> all right we've got another solo earring i guess i've got some solo earrings that are gonna have to go into a solo earring lot and we've got a sweet little bracelet that's got some inlay. Get the holy water, yeah. Uh oh, you're missing a stone, so you're going into a craft lot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, what else have we got in here? Now I'm, like, wanting to look closer at stuff that, you know, when you find gold and amazing clip-ons, you want to make sure you're not missing anything else. Right? <laughs> Okay, so the rest of this stuff is all little bits and broken stuff. I can show you. We've got some solo earrings. I'll just kind of flash them at you. Here's the one that I was really hoping to find the mate for, but it was not in there. Look at that. Even though it's got some, like, burn mark. I mean, like, Darlene was smoking, and she, like, got too close to her ear, right? Like, whoosh, ah, I burned my earring off. Okay, fine. I'll throw the other one. But I wish that it was in better shape and that there was a mate. So craft lot. <laughs> So, <laughs> really, really, well, I'm glad to, I'm glad to entertain. <laughs> All right, so we've got some solo earrings and things that might go into just like, a, oh, well, that was a nice one. It didn't have a mate either. Oh, but there was a couple here that I was going to look at to see. Oh, I missed this ear necklace, rather. 
It's like a hematite. Wait, yeah, hematite fish. And some more solos. Take a pendant out of it. That's a good idea. It's got that burn mark, though. That kind of bums me out. Because it's cool looking, right? So cool. All right, what else have we got over here? I'm just going to throw some of these that are like, meh. Let me see that. It's just like blah. Just like blah. That kind of stuff. Here's a little bowling pin. Do I have it? Paradise Lanes. Solo. Solo. Kind of nasty. Yucky. Like, oh, I see a mystery here. But there are a couple pieces here I want to look at. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's broken. Got a broken. <laughs> Thanks. It's funny though, because when I get on with when I'm when I have Cindy when we do the auctions and I start acting silly and then I, I look down and I see hers looking at me and I'm just like I, I can't. It's easier when I don't have anybody looking at me. Oh right. Hey big boy, where you been on my life? <laughs> you come this honky tonk often. I like the way you wear that. Mechanical bull, you held on for a long time. <laughs> you ready to do some tea stepping with me? <laughs> um, or pageant, like major pageant earrings, right? Okay, these earrings, oh, these kind of match that bracelet that I had that was really springy. And they're different colors. Hang on. They have the three colors, so I'm gonna look at this closer. See how it's got the mixed metal, gold, silver, and brown? <laughs> and then it's got this gold, you can't see it very well there, but it's gold um, stem, earring. Hmm. It's not magnetic, that's why I'm looking at it closer. Do, do, do. I don't see anything on that one. I'm going to just set it to the side and look at it closer later. Yeah. <laughs> see if my husband says anything, he'll say something. What, what are you wearing? Hang on. I don't think my kids would say anything. I think they're so used to like just the insanity <laughs> I won't, I don't want to say I'm insane, but the unpre unpredictability of some of the things I say and do to them. Um, that sounds horrible, like I'm a bad mom or something, but I'm not. It's just fun. Okay, this one's not magnetic. If <laughs> Okay, so this little chain, I'm just going to look at it closer later because it's not magnetic and it's got, it looks like it's dirty. I don't know. I'm just going to look at it later. Um, <laughs> is it insane? I don't know. The funness. The funness. All right, here's a, look, I'm going to look at this because there's like a stamp right there. And this is gold in color, which might be hard to m make out on the thing. It must be coded because it says 925 on the little doodad right there. Judad is the magic word of the day. And then there's this one, like so. Oh, the shoulder pads with like the box color. No, 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 not the blocky one, but like just like the speckly colors all over it. Yeah. My glamour shots. <laughs> get my hair feathered really big and get my collar and pop it like, like that. But serious, right? Because a lot of them, they have the serious face. Like so. Like, look sassy. I wish you guys were able to, like, I could see you look sassy too. Because then I'm not just humiliating myself. I don't, I don't have collars. So you have to pretend. Anyway. <laughs> I never did glamour shots. I remember it in the mall. And a lot of people I knew did it. But I really never did glamour shots. I kind of wish I had now. I bet if we brought glamour shots back, that it, there would be a whole resurgence of people going to do glamour shots. What's my best find ever? <clears throat> I would have to say 
there were a pair of cufflinks that I got for a dollar at a charity shop that sold. I took to the gold scrap guy for over 400 bucks. Um, and I don't think he's going to scrap them because they were really good quality. Yeah. Okay. All righty. I'm going to leave it right there with the glamour shot. How about that? What would they do with their other hand? You know? I don't know. Would they have like a microphone? I'm going to pretend like I'm like, <laughs> thanks, internet. <laughs> pretend like I'm singing. I don't know. They have props and stuff, right? It's my mom. Hey, mom. How you doing? No, we're going to be leaving really soon. We were just finishing some stuff up here. Okay, we'll we'll be on the road in within the next 15 20 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Bye. I got to go, you guys. Okay. <laughs> She's like, are you on the road yet? <laughs> no. Uh, I got to finish some things up here, Mom. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Bye, everybody.